Well, I'm back and we're looking here today at Princess Anne. Yeah, a little bit of Order of the Garter and Carl Gustav, but first I have to say that today is my mother's birthday and I wish her the best of day. I hope she has a wonderful day. And anyone else out there, if I forget to wish you a happy birthday or I'm really late on responding to comments, forgive me and I hope you have a wonderful day today. But let's go on. I really didn't think I was going to be looking at Princess Anne. You know, I'm really tired of all the hoopla. You know, I know you guys are too. But let's watch a very short clip of a few things that have been going on, and then I'm getting right into all the details. Elizabeth, thousands lining up to pay their final respects in Westminster Hall as King Charles takes on the role he has been preparing for his entire life. King Charles is young her sister Anne, we've been talking about her over the past few days, the Princess Royal. She's known to be the hardest working member of the family and she's very connected at the Women's Royal Naval Service. Here's a statistic for you. In 2021, Charles carried out 385 official royal engagements while Anne managed two more on behalf of the crown, coming in at 387. <laughs> now, Camilla, of course, is wife of 17 years, now queen. All right, sorry to cut in there. I was supposed to cut it right after they said Anne, and I just kept listening. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, they're there marching. But what I got intrigued of was everything that they said about Anne, how she stepped up and wanted to look at, yeah, you're noticing all the badges they're getting, right? Okay, many of you have looked into them, and I know I, I, I really didn't think I'd be looking at Princess Anne, honestly. But, you know, I had to take a second look, and they're making such a big deal about her, you know, curtsying as the queen was going by and and everything. And I've watched, you know, the series on The Crown. I found it fascinating. I'm looking at it, of course, with a different perspective now, but I still enjoy watching a little bit of history, whether some of it is um, all the truth or not. But anyway, there she is with her mother. Yeah, they look a lot alike, I have to say. But I'm not going to get into all the details, but I'll show you a little bit. You know, she was married previously to Mark Anthony Peter Phillips right there in 73. And then he got divorced later on. But um, she then remarried someone named... Uh, Naval Officer Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence in 92. And that's who she's been married to. And her ex-husband got married to an equestrian. But anyway, but um, I didn't realize, you know, I'd never looked into her children. Her son, Peter Phillips, and Autumn Kelly. Well, they're divorced now as well as her daughter, Zara Tyndall. And spouse, Mike Tyndall. They have three kids as well. So the others had two kid by the way so anyway all I wanted to look at was this right here because I know you guys see the same thing as I do it's just a little bit of extra poof on their on their hair but otherwise it looks like something else very familiar so yeah it got me to looking at what are they really a part of as this is called a garter service that they're marching here Oh, yeah, you'll see William there, and Charles is mixed in there, too, and the Queen, and, you know, this is what you'll see. That's what they get put on that beautiful oh, cloth that drape all over themselves. The most noble order of the garter. Notice it's a knighthood, right? And it was inspired by the Spanish order of the band. Well, what is that? Well, I had to look further. Okay, the order of the band. Here we go. It's a military order in Spain. They were bound to take up arms for Catholicism against infidels. Okay, I want to make it very clear for anyone who's never looked into these things. I know a lot of you know everything that there is about Knights of Malta, Knights of Templar, and everything else. But they said infidel. And, of course, I thought of many things, Noahide laws, you're thinking of infidels when you think of uh, um, maybe Muslims, maybe um, Judaism, you know, many things, I'm just saying. But I wanted to see all the honors also that, you know, Princess Anne has received. And there's so many, I'm not going to name all, the, all of them, okay? But here are a couple. Um, the one on the top in yellow is only given to women in the royal family, but there's a few that I named. The rest, I'm only going to show you a few of the pictures. There's just such a long list of them. She has 18 in with the whole commonwealth and then 10 foreign honors. But 
Of course, there was one that I had to take note of this one, last one that she had received just this past year. Okay. And also she's received this one. Of course, I have to make note of that because it's from Finland. She received that in 1969. So there you have it. But it had me also thinking of because in Wikipedia, it says she's a part of some fellowships. Oh, okay. Well, what are other names for fraternities? You know, sorority, fellowships, you know, there's many names that come along with this. I just wanted to point that out. So when you look in fellowships, yes, she is a part of the Royal Fellow of the Royal Society. I believe she was the president, if I remember, she took over her father's role. But anyway, she's also a part of the president of Royal Society of Arts. Oh, right. That was maybe what she was the president of. Oh, yes. But anyway, yeah, she can't be a president of the Royal Society because a male has to be one there. But there you go. There's the RF, uh, FRS, <laughs> Fraternity Royal Society, right, where they probably enter by through the number sevens and maybe they come out of the six. I don't know. I don't know why they would have those separated, but I'm not a member of that party. But you know who is a member of that party? Of course, it was the queen and her husband. Yep, they sure were. The queen mother's name was in that list as well. I don't know when, but of course, all of them are a part of this club. There are many names there, of course, some you won't see, but of course you'll see Prince Edward, Duke of Kent. Maybe you'll recognize him in the attire on the right. Yeah, many times, because he's in a lot of the um, Freemason videos. But anyway, it got me to thinking of our neighbor. He couldn't be a part of this kind of society, could he? No, no, he doesn't have all the same kind of, you know, honors and you know, badges given to him. Well, his father's name was actually in that list of Royal Society members. Now, of course, King Carl Gustav, um, the current king, his name was not there, but he has many honors. He actually had more than Anne. A list so long, 69 if I counted correctly. Yeah, several of them really stood out for me, especially um, maybe this one, Order of the Pope Pius. Right. Any Say anything to anyone out there? Yeah, he's very much, he, very high. But other societies he belonged to that, there's a whole long list, but here's just a couple of them just to point out. Yeah, the Red Cross, the WWF, the Lions, right, the Rotary. No, he's not a part of the same club. No, no, no. But anyway, go to the garter, then click on Order of Chivalry, and then you'll see a little bit more, you know. But I got all sidetracked of that. Oops, I put that in the wrong order. <laughs> well, anyway, but please go and read and understand that this is, if this is all new to you. So click on that, it'll send you to Order of Chivalry, right? And when you're in there, just scroll down and read a little bit. What does it say? Their part of example is the Knights of Templar. Knights Templar. That's what they're a part of. Now, if you don't know about the Templars or the Order of Malta, which it says just below that, you need to really watch some people who express a lot about what these groups are, what these fraternities are. Yeah, they're a part of the Catholic military order, mind you. And they have many colors and many different badges, but just understand that they are all a part of the same club and the same fraternity. Yeah, the same ones that wear these ones here, right? Mm-hmm. And I just watched a part of, I haven't finished it yet, of a video right here with The Amazing Discoveries. We'll just explain a lot about who Charles is. So please watch that. I'll share the clip. But basically, the Order of the Garter, who they're a part of, just has a different, you know, symbol on the front. That's all. This one has the cross. It's green. Oh, that's the Knights of Malta. Right. How about the Order of Malta? Right. Okay, they're all the same fraternity. They just have different robes, different colors, and different colors of crosses on them. That's all. 
And you, if you're not <laughs> watching Shaking My Head, I apparently just had to go and click on the bell again. I haven't been notified of any of his videos. I'm sure he's got so much on this subject and more. So all I can say over again is they're all a part of the same club, the same family, and we're not a part of that, nor do I ever want to be. So don't put your trust in the Son of Man where there is no help in no man, no kings, no princes, no presidents, no leaders. Just tr push your trust in Jesus alone. That's all I can say. All right, I really wasn't going to look at this. I can't believe I looked at Prince's